I went to Scotland uh, the, the other week. Um, I went up on the Saturday and I came back on the Thursday. So yeah, I recorded two, two whole days of footage out of all of that. And when I say recorded it, I managed to successfully hit the record button. I forgot to do that on multiple occasions. <laughs> <laughs> short and tall of it. Um, the timeline of this is like here, there and everywhere. There's bits in there that don't make sense because I say things about them otherwise. Also, I hope you like the new area for the introductions. I tidied and set up an area and I think it looks quite nice. Yeah, so uh, as per usual, let me know what you guys think. Do the, the like, the comment, the subscribe and hit the bell button thing. And uh, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, as per usual. Hello, it is Sunday the 22nd of August. Um, so I left my job last week. Not, not to, I swear to God, the thing that's going to follow this is not, I'm going to become a full-time content creator. I have no interest in that. I'm starting a new job next week. Um, as such, oh, wait a minute. Bear with, bear with. There we go. So I'm starting a new job next week. Um, I had a week off, and I went. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use that week off wisely. So I've come to I've come to Scotland. I've come home for a week. Um, right now I'm in Brecon. Uh, that's where I was. That's where I was raised. And uh, we're off out for breakfast. I think we're heading to Montrose. So we'll have a wee, we'll have a wee wander in Montrose, and I'll show you guys the the highlights of Montrose. I think it was it was the place I spent most of my teens. So yeah. See you in throws. So, through the power of magic and editing, um, it's now night time and I'm still in Montrose. <sighs> it's actually 1am in Montrose. I figured, because we're running out of time, I'd come back and do a separate trip and we'd have a nice walk down Montrose High Street um, at the end of the night, because why not? So let's go do that now. <laughs> and hopefully, I'll get mugged, stabbed, or anything, eh? <laughs> now, I can't remember whether I said it when I was shooting this initially. Montrose is a small beach town. It's a town that I lived in when I was. shite, yeah. 16, 17, fairly young, like. Um, and uh, it, it's a town that I've got very, very, very fond memories of, and I really, really enjoyed it here. Also, that's the yummy Chinese takeaway. <laughs> oh, ah, yeah, interesting story. Doing that alley in there. Um, there was a homeless unit. I ended up there when I was 16. Because I was an idiot. Uh, yeah, and that's how I got my first flat, and that was in Montrose. And this boy here, he's doing the beach now. Behind there, the market arms. I don't know who it was. I ended up in a house party down there once. With copious amounts of drugs and alcohol. 10 out of 10, would do again. Like I said, don't know whose house it was. Somebody's lurking about. I'm lurking about. Oh, right, so this is, who are there? That, that shop is called Goodfellow and Stevens. Um, they do baked goods, and yeah, if you're ever a Peace Coast Scotland, I always look for bakeries, they're very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Right, we've come out to um, Montrose Beach. Uh, I was only moved here at 17, 18? Yeah. I was really young and I lived here and it was the best place I ever lived. You probably can't see me because of that beautiful sunset behind me here. Nice old sunset, man. 
very nice sunset in the cruise. Oh yeah, this thing's cool. We can go for a walk up this, I suppose. But at any rate, what, uh, what I wanted to show, you'll see this in the drone footage in a wee bit anyway, is, uh, is this stunning lighthouse. Stand for a look at this. So if you're ever in Bintros, come to come to the beach and have a look at the play park. I don't care if you're a child or an adult, this place is brilliant. Oh, there's a cafe there as well, isn't there, Mum? What's it called? The Beach Cafe. The Beach Cafe. And Montrose. Also, they've got toilets, as signalled by that wall there. Oh, and there's um, Montrose golf courses over that way as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, which is pretty good. I got, believe it or not, I'm going to tell you a story now, Mum, and we're going to film your reaction. <sighs> this one time, I went out, you know, like with a box of wine. Yeah. I took three of those, but I took the boxes out, the boxes off, and ran down the beach for the sacks. I might. Or might not have woken up the next day with 18 flagpoles in my house. <laughs> <laughs> might or might not have. How do you that, feel? That might not surprise me, actually. <laughs> no shame. Right, so excuse the glare and sunlight. Hopefully, I'll fix that in post edit. If not, enjoy the glare and sunlight because that's clearly all I managed to film and fix. <laughs> well, I'm just telling the oh, Mum, I'm no lying, I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Tell them what they want to hear, not what they need to hear. Glorious sunshine. It's glorious sunshine in Scotland as well. What's it like, 20 degrees, 21 degrees? Yeah. So it's kind of like a nice day. I mean, to be fair, I'm kind of walking and just like pointing at a camera. Oh, it's following you now. <laughs> it's your audience now, Mum. It's why it doesn't want to follow me. Tell it? your tale, Mother. Tell my tale. Tell your tale. I can't really tell them anything. How? Just John's mum, Morgan Brechin. I don't want to tell them that, you'll end up with all sorts of creepy stalkers. <laughs> Trust me, I know my audience, Mum. They're fucking weird. Lovable, but weird. No, they'll know what to stalk me. Oh, okay then. That's very confidently said. We've been shopping now for what seems like forever. I'm currently in a ladies' clothes shop with my mother. There's brassieres, there's underwear. I wasn't prepared for this. No man can be prepared for this. More importantly, look at that eye, that's look. <laughs> so I've done a wee bit of uh, shopping in Dundee. Missed out the key and everything because there's stuff going on. And now I'm in the car park. And I cannot let me find where to fucking pay for my parking, which is interesting. So I'm going to spend the rest of my holiday locked in a car park. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, like, to be fair, it's a nice car park. That's the one advantage. But we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Found it. I had to go back in the shop and send it. So it's Monday the 23rd of August today. Um, I'm struggling a bit with vlogging all this. So we went yesterday to Montrose where everything was closed. Like just on a Sunday, just everything was shut. So I went to a Greg's and I had a vegan sausage roll and a vegan bean cheese and sausage thing. Um, it was all right. Went to... Shay, where did we go yesterday? Dundee. Went to Dundee after and did a bit in Dundee. Um, and we're off to a place called Pleasure Land, which is like an, an indoor arcade. There will be footage of that. There will be loads of footage of that. And I'm heavily excited to be there. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, and then I'm here until Thursday. Well, sorry, I'm making my way down the road on Thursday where I'm off to, uh, I'm off to Yorkshire. All right. I'm off to, I'm off to Yorkshire area. Um, where I'm going to go meet an internet friend 
Uh, I don't know if they'll be in the video or not. What do you guys want to say to the YouTube? I'm gay. <laughs> I'll turn the camera around. Me and Mum are um, wandering around Aberdeen today. For those of you who aren't Scottish, Aberdeen's known as the Granite City. Because everything's made of fucking granite. Oh, there's a car coming. We're going to get run over. Um, we're off up Union Street and then we're Union Square. All this is an aid of the fact that I'm going out for dinner tomorrow night and I need a shirt. That's, that's all this is an aid of. If you, ever if you ever visit Aberdeen, just be aware of some of the architecture is fucking stunning. That right ahead of us behind this sign. That is the fucking council office. I need to build that in Minecraft. It's majestic as fuck. It's cool. I don't want to sit in here because there's ghosts. And a lodge. So, as I was saying just before, this is a Kirkyard of St Nicholas. I didn't realise it was actually open. This is the dead centre of town. Oh, dad jokes. <laughs> very pretty building. Very, very, very pretty building. It's nice because it's like it's built out of mixed materials, which is strange. Really, really weird. Like you can see where they've like done things to it. So there, on the right hand side, you see the cornerstones. Totally different as you move down the building. Really, really funky. And that's where the pretty bell sounds are coming from. What doing? Listening. Oh. Fuck this shit. It's creepy in here. It's ghosts. Phasmophobia in real life. You're saying that with too much confidence. I think you're you're in collusion. She's colluding. We're walking down Aberdeen, right? And this has got to be the funniest graffiti I've seen since getting here. No letter. Come only. <laughs> More majestic views of the architecture in Aberdeen. Ruined by buses. Of course, it's ruined by buses. Goodbye, bus. Hello, view. I'm still in Aberdeen. Shut up, I'm talking. I'm still, you as well. I'm in Aberdeen, right? And we're walking on the street and then just out of nowhere. <clears throat> I've done Aberdeen for shopping. We retail, we shopped till we dropped. Retail therapy. I'm, uh, I'm on the train. I got fuel. And, uh, Hi, how are you feeling, Mum? I'm good, yeah. Yeah, good. I need some fuel too. <laughs> <laughs> Put my pants. I was on a public bus. It smelled really bad. <laughs> <laughs>